This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we are a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metals Summit Europe, happening virtually this year on November 2nd and 3rd. Joining me right now is Tim Johnson. He is the CEO of Granite Creek Copper. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is GCX on the TSX Venture. Tim, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you back. So uh, we actually last did an interview uh, that was it was published on August 17th of this year. Uh, we're recording this today on October 14th. So I'd love to get an up, update. You know, what's been going on in the company uh, since we last spoke? Yeah, well, at the end of August, we announced the uh, proposed uh, merger with our neighbor Copper North, um, which we think is going to be a major reevaluation for the company as we transition from an early stage exploration company to having a measured and indicated resources and having combined the lamb, once we combine the lamb packages, um, really adding a lot of uh, potential to the, uh, to the CarMax story. Um, so that's, we're pretty excited about that. Um, we've also just recently announced a financing where uh, we closed the first tranche of a proposed $2.4 million financing. We closed 1.8 million. Uh, and we launched uh, our inaugural drill program on the Stu property um, with a focus on trying to uh, develop a plan to grow the resources that make sense to add to the, uh, to the CarMax story as we combine the two, the two projects. So, so I have to follow up real quick on, on some of these items that you just mentioned. You know, were, were all these things, did they fit in the plan that you had for the company for this year? Uh, yeah, they do actually. Um, you know, and, and I'm glad glad you brought that up. I mean, if you look at the trajectory of the company, we've actually advanced very rapidly from our launch in January of 2019 to you know acquire of the Stu project, acquiring of data, an initial 30% interest in our neighbor Copper North was uh, acquired in December of last year, and now announcing a further uh, combination of the two companies and and the drill program. So. Yeah, I mean, the, the timelines are probably a little bit different than what we initially envisioned, but it is um, it is part of, of, of what we're trying to do is, is a consolidation of the high grade mental belt, um, putting these two companies together and, and putting the, the resources and potential and the team all in to, to develop a, uh, you know, a, a, a decent uh, copper exploration company. And, and remind our audience, you know, tell us a little bit about the land package in the area that you're looking to consolidate, because I'm sure there's probably other, you know, uh, uh, permits or, or, or uh, stakes that you're trying to look in the area to make sure that you have as much land that you have possible to then go explore, right? Yeah, um, there's a couple things on that. One, it's, it's a, a highly prospective package where we're in the high grade mental copper belt. Uh, with the uh, mental mine operating just to the north of us, owned by Pembridge Resources. Um, when the mental mine first opened, it was running some of the highest grade open pit material um, on the globe. And they're now underground, but still quite high grade material um, for, for the copper space. Uh, on our own ground, we've got historic drilling in the 1980s that included, you know, two to, to uh, 3% copper over 15 to 18 meters uh, with good precious metal credits. And then adjacent to us um, is the Copper North asset, the CarMax project. Uh, again, fairly high grade um, oxide uh, resource with a, a really uh, compelling underlying uh, sulfide potential that, that I think once we, you'll see once we get the projects put together, we're going to look at uh, seeing where we can rapidly grow resources. Um, and I think we've got lots of really compelling targets to be able to do that. Very good. And so, you know, I asked you this question last time, but, you know, I just wanted to see if we're on target with, uh, uh, we talked about, of course, from what you can tell us, we talked about value catalysts and some growth drivers now moving forward. So uh, are we still on that same trajectory for some of those value catalysts that you mentioned back in August? And are there any, is there anything new that came up that maybe uh, investors should look for now moving forward? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, what we see is a major reevaluation of the company and the value catalyst is completion of, of the merger and putting together those measured and indicated resources that, um, you know, the previous operators at, at Copper North had trouble, had trouble growing because of their limited land package, right? So 
Uh, once we've got that um, put together and we expect that to close um, by the end of the year, um, then it's going to be, uh, you know, how we take those two projects and how we look at um, the development path for them um, is going to be it's going to be some interesting news coming out of the company as, as as we we bring that new plan to the market. Very good. And where can our audience go and find more information about Granite Creek? Well, we're at www.gcxcopper.com. All right. Well, Tim, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for joining me today. Wish you guys the best of luck. Always stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft and I'm your host on SNN Network. And we are a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Europe, which is being held virtually this year and happening on November 2nd and 3rd. And thank you all for watching.